The struggle of wearing glasses when you want to be pretty is really hard and I'm honestly so over it. We are going to see Machine Gun Kelly today in Cleveland and it's one week before Christmas so the vibes are like there and this is my last concert of 2021 and this was the first concert that I bought tickets to during because I don't think we're over COVID yet but during COVID I was actually supposed to see him in Pittsburgh but we went and saw Tomo Pilots in Columbus for three days in a row so I didn't get to go to that one now we're gonna go and see him in Cleveland which I'm really excited about because he's from Cleveland and I feel like the vibes are gonna be really really good and the crowd energy is gonna be great and everything's like pink so I'm all pinked out I did my nails I um, added some like pearls and shit to them because I know he's like really big into pearls so I added pearls and stuff to them and I like added a bunch of jewels so that was fun I'm wearing a little bit of pearls in my jewelry today because I know he likes pearls so yeah I feel cute I feel good I'm gonna go pick up Mackenzie we're gonna go get some food and we're gonna go. I'm nervous because I know the parking is gonna be hella freaking expensive because it's Saturday, which sucks, but... And I'm kind of confused because I thought I saw somewhere that he was like selling a version of his upcoming album on tour and you could only get it on tour, but like I haven't seen that anywhere else. So I don't know if that was a fever dream or what was up with that, but if he is selling it, I'm gonna try and get that because I'd love to do an unboxing of it. But yeah, I've seen some of the merch. It's not really my favorite because a lot of it has like his face on it. And I'm not a huge fan of like merch with faces on it. So we'll see if I end up getting anything. Maybe if he does like a Cleveland specific shirt, that would be fun to get. But we'll see what he does, what he has. I wish I could drink a beer at this concert, but it's not happening. So three hours later. One eternity later.
flashlights and it just fell. all right so I am back home now we left before the concert was over I always leave early from concerts since especially since I'm driving and stuff now I just can't deal with like the anxiety of like trying to leave and if it's like super crowded and I don't know so yeah I had to get valet parking too because the parking garage I wanted to use was at capacity so that was fun but the valet wasn't too bad it was actually cheaper than I was planning on spending at the parking garage my ears are still ringing <laughs> um we had like boondock seats these were actually the first concert tickets that I bought like during COVID so I didn't want to buy super good seats and spend a lot of money and have that money held up in case something happened or deal with like getting a refund. Like I had experience with other concerts that so obviously got canceled. I got a few things in merch so I'm going to show those to you guys. I also want to say a huge shout out to this really sweet subscriber that I met. He was so nice and um, I loved his mask. He had a mask with like pearls on it and I thought it was so cute because I had the pearls on my nails and stuff and like I was wearing pearls but I didn't say anything. Um, I'm still kind of getting used to like meeting you guys so that's the third subscriber that I've met in like the span of like just a few weeks which is crazy. You guys are amazing. So I hope that he had an amazing time. He mentioned that he loves my vinyl videos and that's why he watches me so I will be doing a vinyl record collection update. It'll either be done uh, like the very last week of December or it'll be done the first week of January. Yeah, I'm very excited to film that. So if you're watching, there will be a vinyl video coming very soon. I'm going to show you guys the merch that I got. So I bought this water bottle kind of impulsively, but it's kind of freaking dope. Everything was pink, which I'm, I'm definitely into the pink. So they had this water bottle and I thought that it was super like funny but it's just this really bright pink color it's got a nice twist top reminds me a lot of my free Shawn Mendes one that I got I used to put like drinks in my Shawn Mendes one so it like made the plastic smell really funny so I'm literally just gonna use this one for water I just don't know like if I could get away with taking this to work or not I mean I guess I could but it says, hello world, you fucking suck on it, which I thought was super funny. Yeah, and then it says Machine Gun Kelly below it, but it's mostly like, hello world, you fucking suck, which I think is great. So 
I was like, I'm gonna grab that. And then the t-shirt that I got, I'm not really a huge fan of t-shirts that have like the artist's face on them. I've gone over that before. It's just not really my style. So this was a really nice like beige colored shirt that I liked. And the issue with this shirt was if you got it in a small medium, it was like a light beige color. It was really ugly. It was like super pale. It looked really off. And if you wanted this color, you had to get a large, extra large, or extra, extra large. So I got it in a large because I preferred this color. But it says, oh, Machine Gun Kelly tickets to my downfall two were on the front. Very simple. Really nice and big. I love wearing these shirts to sleep and stuff. And then on the back, it is the XX. And then it has the dates in the X's. So Cleveland, Ohio is down here at the bottom I don't know if it'll pick up but all the dates are in the X's so I thought that that was cool I like that shirt so I'm gonna wear that to bed and then this was so cool because I have a um poster from when I saw five seconds of summer at Quicken Loans Arena which is now Rock and Mortgage Fieldhouse and so I have that with the arena on it and he had a poster I don't know if he did this for every single show or if he just did it for Cleveland because it's Cleveland but he had a poster and it actually says Cleveland Ohio on it and it has the date and then it has the city behind it. And I just really like the style of this. And I love the flowers on the bottom, but this is it. So it says Machine Gun Kelly. He's like standing on the city itself, which is so pretty to see. And then it says Cleveland, Ohio, 12, 18, 21. And I just think it looks really nice. And this was only 15 bucks. Which I thought was a really good price because my five sauce one was $60, I'm pretty sure, at the concert, or 40 It was something really expensive because it was like the show post. I thought this looked really cool. I really like the colors. So I'm going to be hanging that up probably over here and taking this down. He played a lot of like older songs, which is really nice. Um a good mixture of stuff he covered misery business which was super cool the playlist before he came on was also really dope it had a really really good mix of songs i was very pleased with the like pre-concert jam i really wanted to go and see him because again it was like the first ticket set like came out and i know he's like from cleveland so i thought like seeing him in cleveland would be like a crazy experience and it honestly was like it was an actual sold out show and it really showed because I've been to a few sold out shows and you'll see like empty rows of seats, you know, from like resellers buying seats and stuff. The only empty seats I saw were the two that were next to us, coincidentally. The rest of it was packed. Like it was a full house and the energy was crazy. The girls were screaming. Like I kind of felt like I was at a Justin Bieber concert at some points and some of the stuff they were screaming, I was like, yeah, for 30 bucks, I had a great time. I thought that it was fun. Um, I think he's a great performer. I thought that the set looked really cool and the visual effects were done really nicely. I didn't think anything was like too crazy. Um, and the props that he used were really cool, like the skull and the pill bottles and then the pipe for the drum set was really cool. I did pre-order his next album that's coming out, Born With Horns. They had like a tour exclusive edition. They, like you had to scan the QR code to like buy like on the stage. So. I did order that. When that comes in, I'll do an unboxing of it for you guys that will be curious. Let me know in the comments down below what your last concert of 2021 was, because I'm really curious, or if you, like, haven't gone to any, totally get that and understand that, but I'm gonna go wash my face and eat the rest of the sandwich that I got at this restaurant that we ate at that was super good, and, um, go to bed to get up early to go buy Squishmallows, because that's my life now, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.